Hello everyone and welcome back to West River Camp. I'm Chef Matt and today's meal is going to be vegetable lasagna. I hope everybody's having a great and safe summer and if you haven't taken the opportunity to print off this week's ingredients and kitchen tool list, go ahead and take that opportunity to do so. One of my favorite meals to make as a chef is lasagna. I grew up in an Italian household. My grandma was full Italian and whenever we went over to her house, she always had some type of great Italian meal. My favorite that she made was lasagna. There are different varieties of lasagna that you can make. You can make it with ground beef, ground pork, ground turkey. Today's lasagna is one of my all time favorites, a vegetable lasagna. I'm really excited to share this recipe with you today. So as always, one of the most important things you have to do before we start any meal or any kitchen project is make sure we have good personal hygiene. And that includes the most important thing is proper hand washing. Let's get cooking. One of the important things before you start any meal is to prep your ingredients. This saves you a lot of time. Today's ingredients include about two tablespoons of salad oil, one large carrot chopped, one red bell pepper chopped, one red onion chopped, one orange bell pepper chopped, one good size zucchini diced, two cracked eggs, one box of oven ready lasagna noodles. I like to use the oven ready because the product turns out a lot better. Your favorite marinara sauce, about 32 ounces. This is 64 ounces, so I'll use about half of it. About four to six ounces of baby spinach. This is a mixture of four cups mozzarella cheese, two cups Parmesan cheese. This is 32 ounces of ricotta cheese that we'll use. For our spices, we have two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of granulated garlic, two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, freshly ground black pepper, one teaspoon of red pepper, and about two teaspoons of white sugar. So the first thing you wanna do when you start making your vegetable lasagna is to saute all your vegetables and season them. You're not gonna cook them very long because the cooking process is also in the oven. So you just wanna get a nice golden brown on your uh, vegetables. So we start off with a little bit of oil. And the key is make sure you have a very hot pan. We'll spread that around so the oil gets all over the pan. And then just go ahead and add your vegetables. Stir it around a little bit, mixing the vegetables very nice. When you get them evenly in there, you want to go ahead and season them. Just take a pinch of salt. A little bit of garlic and some fresh ground pepper. You saute it over a little bit and then you want to add your baby spinach because the spinach doesn't take very long to cook at all. Go ahead and mix that all nice and in. You can smell it already. So the very last uh, vegetable you want to add to it is your onion. It doesn't take very long at all, about 30 seconds to uh, saute. It gives you that nice sweet flavor too with the onion. So now that the vegetables are done and nice and sauteed, we're gonna go ahead and mix them up with our marinara sauce. Look at that color. So take your favorite marinara sauce. This is 64 ounces. You need about 32 ounces, so I'm gonna use about half of it. A little bit more. That's good right there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up.
Now you, can, you don't need to heat your marinara sauce prior because the vegetables will heat it up a little bit and the cooking process in the oven will make sure it's at temperature. Now we're going to go ahead and season it. Take your Italian seasoning. Take a good couple pinches. Your sugar, then go ahead and dump all your sugar. A couple pinches of garlic. One pinch of salt. Your red pepper flakes, give it a little kick. And some freshly ground black pepper. I always use fresh ground black pepper, it just tastes better. Gives you that little extra kick. Let's go ahead and mix that up. And go ahead and set that to the side. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix the cheese mix. I love to use ricotta cheese. Gives you that great flavor, that Italian flavor. I'm gonna use the whole thing. So I'm gonna take about half of this cheese mix, put it right into the ricotta cheese. You're gonna save the rest of the cheese to go put on top of the lasagna. You take your eggs, get your fork and just beat your eggs. Those nice and scrambled. What eggs do for any cooking process, it holds it together. So it's very important to make sure you get the egg in there. Egg's done. Let me go ahead and season that up too. A couple pinches of Italian seasoning. A couple pinches of garlic. A couple of salt. And finally, a freshly ground black pepper. Take a spatula and mix that all up. Oh, that looks good. Sometimes I take a spoon and I just eat it just like this. All right, once that's a good mix, we are ready to assemble the lasagna. So now that all your ingredients are assembled and put together, the first thing, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and assemble this awesome lasagna. So the first thing you need to do is get in a lasagna pan. A typical lasagna pan is 12 inches by 10 inches and about two and a half inches high. That way it'll fit your lasagna noodle just right. So while we got our pan, the next thing we need to do is make sure we grease it. So I got some cooking spray here. We're just gonna grease the pan nice. Greasing the pan helps the lasagna not stick when you're cutting it out. So now that the pan's greased, the first thing we wanna do, the first, very first layer is the marinara mix. So you wanna put a nice thin layer on the very bottom of the pan. A couple of spoons, maybe two and a half. That looks good. And just layer it on the bottom of the pan. That's your very first layer. Go ahead and take your las three lasagna noodles out. And layer them on the bottom. Next layer is gonna be your ricotta cheese mix. A couple of spatulas, maybe a little two and a half maybe. And you wanna be very careful on this one so you don't move the lasagna. And it's okay if you do move the lasagna noodles, you can shuffle them back. You just wanna spread that out evenly across the noodles. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because this cheese mix will melt and it will spread out throughout the pan. That looks great. All right, next thing is another layer of noodles. So we're just gonna keep doing the layering process until the pan's full. So ricotta cheese, noodles. save a little bit of marinara sauce for the, the last layer. And I'll show you how I'm gonna incorporate that at the end. 
Just one more noodle. One more cheese. Again, I'm gonna save a little bit of cheese. that I have left and go ahead and mix them up. So I'll kind of get a mixture of both. I find this, if I mix this up, that very first bite of lasagna, you get a taste of everything at once. That's good and mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and add that to it. Spread that on top. Oh, that looks great. And the very last step, we're going to add our cheese. Nice layer of cheese on top. There you go, that's how you assemble the lasagna. Now that the lasagna is assembled, we wanna go ahead and prepare it for the cooking process. First layer that we're gonna put on it is the plastic wrap. What the plastic wrap does, it protects the cheese from sticking. If you don't put the plastic wrap in just the foil, all the cheese is gonna come off when you take it out of the oven. Get that nice and tight. Go ahead and take your foil and do the same thing. Now your lasagna is ready to go in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and cook it for 20 minutes at 425 degrees. Go ahead and place it in, on the center rack and move it all the way to the center. All right, 20 minutes has passed. Let's go ahead and take a look at our beautiful lasagna. We're gonna go ahead and take the wrapping off oil. You see how that plastic saves the cheese from not sticking? Now we're going to go ahead and put this back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and check out our lasagna. Oh, that looks good. What you're looking for is a nice brown crust around, the cheese melted, it looks perfect. So now what you wanna do is we're gonna set it to the side and let it sit for about 25, 30 minutes. What that does is let the lasagna set up so when you cut into it, it's in the perfect shape and delicious. All right, our lasagna has been sitting for 30 minutes and it's ready to be cut and tasted. So let's take a look. Get your knife. Get a good chunk. I personally like the ends. After that, go ahead and take you a spatula or food turner as I like to call it. Get it out of there and go set it on your plate. Look at that. You see how letting it set for 30 minutes, it's set up very nice. Otherwise, if you don't let it set and you cut it right out of the oven, a lot of times it'll just run out. All right, so let's get a taste and see how we did. That's delicious. 
Again, lasagna is one of my favorite foods of all times to make. It's a meal all in one. So I hope you enjoy cooking lasagna as much as I do. And I hope your family enjoys the lasagna too. Thank you. In this series, we have been looking at lots of awesome, delicious food, like the vegetable lasagna we made today. We have talked about how we can serve God by providing hospitality and food for those who are hungry. Those are important things we are called to do as Christians. But there is something else. There is a hunger of the soul. In Matthew 4, we read about Jesus in the wilderness after his baptism. Jesus had fasted 40 days and 40 nights. While Jesus is starving, the devil comes and tempts him, saying, Hey, you're the Son of God. Why don't you just turn these rocks into bread and eat? Jesus responds, People won't live only on bread, but on the very word of God. We do not live on bread alone. This void in our soul cannot be filled by anything we can see or touch. It can be only filled by God. John 3 says, God so loved the world that he gave up his only son, so that everyone who believes in him won't perish, but will have eternal life. God didn't send his son to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Or as Jesus says in John 6, I am the bread of life. John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, cared deeply about both the physical and spiritual needs of people. This well-known prayer is called the Wesleyan Covenant Prayer and reflects his desire to put aside his desires and allow God to direct him. Let us pray. I am no longer my own, but thine. Put me to what thou wilt. Rank me with whom thou wilt. Put me to doing, put me to suffering. Let me be employed by thee or laid aside for thee, exalted for thee or brought low for thee. Let me be full, let me be empty. Let me have all things, let me have nothing. I freely and heartily yield all things to thy pleasure and disposal. And now, O glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thou art mine and I am thine. So be it. And the covenant which I have made on earth, let it be ratified in heaven. Amen.